Welcome everybody to another 144 analytics video where or educational video where we try to show you how to use the Fibonacci retracements with the 144 rules and guidelines. Uh, and this one today we're going to do the uh, DEES, um, cr not crude, uh, soybean oil and uh, we'll show you where how the trend to follow the trend when it's changing how to tell even on a smaller scale if it is all based on our rules and guidelines uh, the other thing we will go into is uh, the s and p's and we'll cover for those of you who don't know we are going to be starting a um, a weekly update just as we do for grains and livestock hopefully by the end of this year uh, for s and p's oil crude oil and um, gold uh, you can get the link down below to get on an email list for any updates until we get that done first off we want to start with uh, the oil back here where 38 percent was here and that, as you know any market that or maybe you don't know any market that's going to continue to go in, in the same direction should hold 38 percent and extremely strong markets will stay above below 23.6 percent 61.8 percent and 78 should send you 78 61 and 78 percent the other way and the 78.6 retracements are ones that can be the thing that ends and starts bull moves so here we have uh, this one where it held above 38 and then we'll just take these in the drawings here and we'll just go this low back to this high. You can see it failed to make a new high right up in the 78.6 level that never closed above this level at all. And that was your first sign that the trend was changing. So as this thing fell apart and then took out 38%, we knew then for a second reason this trend is changing. And now we watch it the other way. In this case here, we'll go down to this low. Bring it up. And you can see the attempt to rally here couldn't even get to 38%. <coughs> Excuse me. And that kept the trend negative uh, in the down direction here. Uh, so what do we do? We just keep kind of watching where the market can retrace to. But when the market really gets negative and positive, you can start taking even other highs and lows. And you can see in here that this, 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 this move right here down here to this level couldn't even go 38 or went 38 percent back up so just even if you took this leg and said this leg stays negative until 38 comes out you would have that even tighter than all the way up here the next low that you see here comes in and what do we have but 38.2 percent again now what are we looking for when it hits 38.2 percent a new low uh, or high depending on which direction we're going in uh, in this case, you had it here and you had it here again. Now we get this thing down even smaller and you could see that this little move was 23% back to here. This is how tight it's getting. And then 38% of this high failed to make that new low. Always an indication that uh, something's changing and that you have to... Um, look for what levels there are above or below it that uh, will tell you the next thing that's going on. Uh, in this case here, this rally failed to make that, or this rally failed then. The high here failed to make the new low and they took it up to 38%. But even before that, this other high here, you can see once again, if this trend here is gonna continue, it should hold 38%. Here, just minor moves, still saying it should go for new highs. It does go for new highs, but what does it hit? But 38 back up here to the contract high at this time. That's keeping the trend negative. So we're looking for new lows. Now we get the new lows, and then we take this back here again just to see how this direction of this trend is, and 23.6% back to the contract high here. Just stops the market again, telling you the market's extremely weak, and it goes for new lows. Okay, now we have this move here where they do get a good move off of this GAN square here, 
and uh, this takes it just short of 38 percent back up to that key level up above now that kept the trend negative uh, and what did we see but new lows again here so now what are we looking at we're looking at 23 percent of this whole move here to see to see if there's any change and right now it fell short of it so it should go make the new low but here's 78.6 just as it was up here at the top a failure to make the new low that hits in the area of 78.6 can be the start of the new bull move. So that's what we're going to be keeping our eye on right now. If it can hold that 78.6 around a 38.80 area, uh, we can take one close under it. And, uh, you know, that's okay, but uh, it's got to be back above it the next day. We'll cover a little bit more on that on the S&Ps in a second. But this is what we're looking for. So we already basically reacted from 23%. So this level holding should take us to 38.2%. These are all in our rules and guidelines as to how to follow this market and that. So uh, again, if you trade the grains and livestock, uh, please become a premium member. You'll get all these levels ahead of time and why we're looking at them. And the swing point, most important level, if it holds, we tell you what to look for up above. And if it fails to do it, then there's a whole nother story on the downside and we give you both of those for that. Now, if we look over here at the uh, S&Ps, we're gonna take this back all the way to the 20. 22 low which just for your information stayed well above 38 uh, percent back to the 09 low and that's how powerful this market what is and the first big area that came back to 38 i'll tighten i'll get expand this screen in a second but um, this is where it went 38 now normally we say we want to see only one close through it uh, at the most, uh, usually just a plunge down to it or under it and then right back above it and vice versa. Um, and in this case here we had actually two, but now you're looking at something that has an $1,100 range. And um, as you can see, that once it got right back above it, you could have been stopped out depending on what you're doing. If you're playing options, maybe not. But the thing is that once it gets back above it, the idea is still there. 38.2% should send you to new highs. And, I've, and as you can see, as clear as day, that's where they went on to much higher highs. And um, so... Now we're going to take a look. I'm going to back this thing out a bit just so we can see it a little clearer. And you can see where 23% uh, of this move here from the 2022 low told you how strong this market is because we couldn't even get back to 38% of this leg and it comes back to 23%. One close under it, right back above it, came back to test it, and then on to new highs. Now again, just as we showed you in the soybean oil, you can take these moves here even tighter, and you can see that just this move here to here, we came back to 38.2%. Now, as we keep moving on here, this all sent us up to the all-time highs and the major GAN square up there at 57.06. Uh, now, so we take this low and we run this level up here. 38% of this just so happened to be, as we move this out, I'm going to run another one. It's going to get a little messy here with all these numbers, but just so you can see... Ah, Okay, that one messed up, but let's do that one again. We take this low, the 2022 low, and we take it to the all-time high. What do we have? 23% and 38 of this. The two most important lows previous to this, and you've come right into that. Now I'm going to remove these so we can see it a little better. Bring it back out. So you can see we had one plunge. It was a good plunge. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It was 100 points through this one, but right down to the next one, a 38.2. Again, it's what is it doing in totality as far as even then in the closes and then ideally only one. But in this case, you can see 
you know, our first one had two below it, our second one had one below it, and this one just plunged below it and then went up. Now we haven't made new highs yet, and we're going to be watching this. And so what do we do? We take this low and this high, 38% back. What did we do? We closed under it last week and right back above it on Monday. And here we are going right back at the highs. So now you can see that where these levels are, are all of your spikes down and your lows. And uh, you're going to see it with the retracements more than any other method you're going to use that this is just used on the, s the smallest level and the most extreme levels, all with the same rules and guidelines. And um, just to keep you on the right side of the market and give you, you know, inklings as to when things are changing when they fail to make those new lows after holding retracements above or on the other side when they make that hold that 23 percent retracement don't go make a new high something's changing so you're always going to be weighing the market back and forth and but with the rules and guidelines you should see it now you go in any of these markets you just see, saw what we did in the the soybean oil that this is where these spike lows and highs are happening right up into these areas where the retracements are so again we're going to be doing uh adding trying to add uh soybean or the s p 500 gold and crude oil we will be posting some uh updates on barchart.com as well as on our website itself but again we, there will be a link down below to get um, just on a list for to get the updates as they come out now until the end of the year and we get all our particulars worked out uh, hopefully you are uh, learning from these things and they're helping you making uh, make better trading decisions uh, so again, this is purely educational and we hope you are learning something. So until the next video, good trading.